So hello students, welcome to Vedant Elite English. This is Basavraj Chha, your biology master teacher. Now students, sir, answer key is out. All of you have been messaging me continuously, sir. Which call, which question I should challenge? Which question I can get bonus marks? Where can I get grace marks? Is there a chance that my rank will improve after the you know when the final answer key arrives? Now students, sir, every single question is dealt in this video. It could be the fake question, petty question, the other questions also. There are two more other questions. So every single question is dealt in this video. With explanation according to your NT answer key. Okay. Now the first question, dear students. Again, before I start, quickly smash the like button right now, students. If you watch the video till now, and also if you're new to the channel, quickly subscribe also. Okay. Now see, students. Here, the first question is fairly simple. There should be no confusion here. The primary function of the Golgi apparatus is to package the materials made by the endoplasmic reticulum and deliver it to the intracellular targets and outside the cell. Yes. All of you know, right? There is something called as the nucleus. ER your products are packaging is in by Golgi. Cis phase is entry, exit is trans phase here. All of you know that. So this is from my notes. This is from my notes here. Okay. So this is a correct option. Obviously, it's correct here. Now, reason vesicles containing material made by the endoplasmic reticulum fuse with the cis phase of the Golgi apparatus and they are modified and released from the trans phase of the Golgi apparatus. It's like a packaging material. So all of you know, Golgi body is your Amazon factory where packaging happens. Makes sense. Now the main, see, both statements are correct here. The main issue which happens here is it explaining the assertion. That was the main concern here and it is explaining here. So you can see students here, it says, here it is talking about the packaging here. Here it is explaining how the packaging is happening, which are the products produced from your endoplasmic reticulum. So endoplasmic reticulum produces something. Packaging is in Golgi complex. So this is a fairly easy question. There should be no confusion here, students. Okay. Now, this question was most controversial. And this video was made by me when the, when the question exam day. Exam day itself, I made this video. It's on Telegram. It's on Instagram. You can go check it out also. Right. That day itself, I told students. That day itself, I told. Right. This is the answer, students. Both 1 and 2 are incorrect. There were many institutes, many teachers who told otherwise. Right. But I told them the proper reason also why it is actually both are wrong here, right? See, the first statement is obviously wrong. Let me just explain one more time here. The first statement is obviously wrong here because fig cannot be non-veg. Why, sir? Why cannot be non-veg? Because all of you, everyone is telling the fig is dying inside. You know, the wasp is dying inside the fig fruit. Students, understand. Let's say I have a tree here. I have a tree here. Let's say a rat died here, students. A rat died here. Forget the rat. Don't look at the rat dog. Let's say there's a rat here. It died here. Okay, now dead body of rat is getting decomposed. The nutrients from the dead rat is being absorbed by the tree. And on this tree, there is a fruit. Does the fruit become non veg now? Does the mango tree become non veg? No. Same with students, when the female wasp enters, lays the eggs, males are born, males die inside the fruit. There is an enzyme called a ficin, ficin, right? The, it will degrade, ficin will degrade the entire thing. Entire nutrients is absorbed by the growing fruit itself. Does that make it non-witch? No. no. Students. Next one. The fig wasp, the students, I pointed out last that, that day itself. In this video itself, I have pointed it out properly. You can see here. The fig wasp and the fig tree exhibit mutual, mutual relationship. Agreeable there. Okay. Fig wasp completes its life cycle in the fig fruit. Again, students, this statement is partially correct, partially wrong. Why? Because the complete life cycle inside the fig fruit is only applicable to the male wasp because male wasps cannot fly they cannot move out of the fig fruit inflorescence here so they die inside itself while the female fly outside so students it says here the fig wasp complete its life cycle in the fig fruit not true male yes female no again the fig fruit gets pollinated since when did the fruits get start getting pollinated fruit doesn't get pollinated Fruit does not get pollinated. It's hypanthodium. The inflorescence gets pollinated there. Pollinated there. So both are wrong here. And this entire explanation was done by me itself when we got the question paper that day itself. I made a video why both statements are wrong. You know why? Because this concept was thought by me in my class. Whatever I told you, entire thing, right? I told this in my class also. Okay. Now, students. Next question, you students. Next question is going to be your tapidem question, right? Again, students, it's a fairly, fairly simple question. But, but, here, the controversy is that, right, it is not according to the lines of NCRT, but it is according to a concept of NCRT. 
what do i mean by that see the first statement is correct here the cells of tapetum possess dense cytoplasm and generally have more than one nucleus polynuclear condition okay presence of more than one nucleus in tapetum increases the efficiency of nourishing the developing microsperm mother cell see NCRT doesn't say that more nuclear, more narration anywhere in NCRT. But it is given rule, yes, nutrition is there. But the main students are having problem here is that, here it says microspore mother cell, that is MMC. But in NCRT, it says pollen grains, so which is correct here. Now here, you need to apply the concept here, which I've been teaching in my class always. All of you know, if this is the tapetum here, tapetum is the outer layer present here, covering the sporogenous cells covering the sporogenous cells. So these sporogenous cells present on the inside, they undergo division and they develop into the pollen grain eventually. See here, sporogenous cells, MMC, microspore tetrad, microspore, then microspore here, vacuolization and pollen grain formation. So here, if the NCRT line says developing pollen grain, so pollen grain is developing, but what is it developing from? It is developing from all the following stages so it is believed that the tapetum also provides nourishment to the microscope mother cell and all the following now again students it's a concept based question so if you want you can challenge here but i don't think so you will get any change here there is no change here also okay yes, students. okay so a and R both are correct explanation is correct here okay this question was this the students one more question was there the pedigree question I do not know why there is a confusion at all here. There should be no confusion at all here. Let me just tell the answer in next one minute. Okay. Here it says, with the help of pedigree, find out the probability of the birth of a child. See students here, I can tell you what one mistake would have happened here. Okay. Here it says, having no disease and being a carrier. So what some students have understood that being a carrier and disease, they would have taken two different offsprings here but we do not do have to do that because the question says a child when they say a child it they are talking about a single child here which is showing a single child is showing a dis no disease and being a carrier so we are supposed to tell the probability of that okay in f3 in f3 now let's look at the entire C. this is also given to you very simple and if you can look at the pedigree students it is x-linked it is x-linked Okay, it is X-linked. How, sir, how X-linked? Because here it says, here, mother is going to be carrier here. Dad is normal, XY. Here, the son is affected here. It means, as students, if son is supposed to be affected, this carrier, this carrier, this particular would have come here. Yes, that's how it became affected here. So one more thing. We can see here, students, here also, the X chromosome would have gone here or here. So, it's an X-linked disease. It's an X-linked disorder here, students. It's an X-linked disorder. Now, what do we do, students? What do we do? Okay. Very simple. Do a simple cross. I've always told you, students. This is the parents here. Okay. Parents is what? Carrier cross with the affected here. Affected. It's a color balance here. Process here. Let's do a cross. Okay, this is the four offsprings which you get. These are the four offsprings which you get here. Now the question is asking you students, right? Having no disease and being a carrier, right? So disease carrier, no. Disease, disease. This individual right now here, it has a disease, does no disease, no disease. Carrier, carrier. So that is going to be what students? One out of four. One out of four is going to be the disease and a carrier. Okay. So, option number 1 by 4 is the right answer. Students. So, those were the questions which I felt from botany side were rather challenging, which you can challenge, but uh, I told you the answer already, the justification for the answers. Now, let's wait for the final answer key and then we will decide on everything else. Okay, students. So, if you have any other question which feels that you sir, I have a doubt in this, let me know in the comment section which you think needs to be challenged or which you are going to be challenging in the comment section, students. So, until then, I will see you in my next class. Until then, take care all of you and bye-bye all of you.